Welcome everybody. So we are moved in here to just coming into town here. My grandpa called me. So I guess dad kind of left the farm and then kind of shambles type thing. And my grandpa's asking for some help. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So let's find out. So we're in town here. We stop off at the cafe here. Got a little farmer coffee. <laughs> As you can see, cafe, CNC cafe. So, uh, we're gonna jump in the truck here, Old International. I actually got it fixed up recently, so it's not actually that, that old, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and back out. Ooh, that's... Area there, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Turn down this away here. Uh... I'm gonna watch it's been out here, so I gotta remember where I'm going here, but... Just want to go ahead and cruise on, cruise on down the road. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna make sure we get to the farm. Um, how beautiful it is out here too. This is just great. Riverbend Springs. Riverbend, yeah. yeah. So let's see. I think we gotta turn down here. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, apparently there's some stuff going on. There's a little debt going on. I don't know what's going on, but... Grandpa said, please come as soon as possible. So, I'm here, so... Let's see, is it here? Is it this one? Or... So we could go in there, but let's see. There should be another one. Tag that some gum. Here we go. Um, this will get us down. Okay, yeah, we're on the other side of the barn there. But what are all the doors open there for? Hmm. That's strange. Oh, that one's not open. Like one side one. Oh, there's Grandpa at the far at the house here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a truck over here and get out and see what Grandpa says. So let's go talk to Grandpappy. Doors are open. That's kind of weird. Hmm. What's going on here, Grandpa? How's it going, kiddo? A couple of people in town can help you, kiddo. We have experts on agriculture, animal husbandry, and forestry. What do you need help with? Right now, I need help you, buddy. Sure. Testing if my jaw still works. Sure. Let's rattle. <laughs> I recently drove one of them fancy big modern tractors. You know, kiddo, I'm used to the, let's call them classics. If we call them old timers, I feel a bit like I'd be talking about myself. And I'm only 72. Actually, you <laughs> call my generation's tractors a uh, young timer. Not quite old enough to be called an old timer, but still fresh enough to enjoy. That's a nickname that would fit me too, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, thank you. So I drove one of the big ones, full of technology. That was funny. Don't think I'm one of those who refuse new technology and modern machines. If one of my tractors back in the day had those sophisticated cabin suspension technology, my back might still allow me to run around more than I do these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the fence, I'll admit. Feeling the soil with every bump in one of my older machines makes you really connected to the earth you're tending to. It's almost romantic. But seats and cabins absorbing shocks and vibrations from the terrain is definitely smoother and way more comfortable. I'm not even talking about all those other high-tech features I actually never really tried. With me getting older and downsizing the farm on my own accord, I never got the chance and never really got into the modern tech. But what about you, kiddo? Do you fancy them young timers too? And I'm not talking about me here. I do have the old know. tractors. There's no right or wrong anyhow. Well, depending on you, your back, and your farm's goals, there might be. But whatever you drive, 
You will have fun with it. I'm sure. Good talk, kiddo. Sure. Let's it's see if wisdom. I have some intelligent thoughts <laughs> left on my old body. Grandpa says about wisdom. Remember, one bad harvest does not define you as a farmer, just as one twister does not define a season. What is your takeaway from that, kiddo? My dear father always asked four things of me. Prepare for what you know, ask for what you don't, Remain steadfast in the face of challenges, learn from mistakes, and get over them. And to constantly train all of this forever. This is my advice to you. Very good information. Start training this early with every opportunity you get. Approach everything in life like that, not just farming. You will lead a better life. All right, so let's take a look around here and see what's going on. I think this building's doors are open. Apparently, everything's gone. Let's go and close these doors up. That's kind of weird. There's tractors and harvesters and all kinds of goodies around these areas. Son of a gun! Oh no! I hope we didn't lose anything. Well, looks like everything's gone, actually, so i close all this up. I don't like to see stuff wide open. Close these doors, too. Something, something's definitely going on. I'm just going to go talk to Grandpa again here real quick. I'm going to try and get to the end, bottom of this here. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him, and I will be back in just a few. Well, we're talking to Grandpa. Um, said that everything was open and taken in the last... I mean, the place has been sitting vacant for a little bit, apparently. So that's why um, somebody got the crops grown. But ever since these pl got planted, they stopped. Because as you can see, this one's not even planted there. They're in the middle of doing something and everything happened. And cows are going away and there's only like a few in there, but still. Cows are gone. There's a harvester in here, which is not cheap, but that's gone. And all the tractors and everything. So everything's just gone. I'm like, what happened? I don't know. Looks like somebody took everything. The window opened up there. There's nose too. I have to go up there and check that guy out. Hmm. Very strange. I don't know. So... Got to look, everything closed up, so everything's secured again, so, but, man, we got to find out if somebody stole this stuff, or if we might have it coming up, showing up in the shop somewhere. That's not good, but we do need to go ahead and try and find some stuff to do. So, we do need to get some contracts, so let me go ahead and check online here, see if we can, and, unfortunately, um, talking with Grandpa, too, we're a little bit in the hole here, so... Some money in the bank, but we need to start paying that down. As you can see, it's seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I don't know if that's what people stole the stuff to try and fix that. Or, oof, that's a lot of money. Um, so yeah, let's just get some contracts. Let's check our contract. Okay, there's several contracts, so this isn't bad. We got some stuff we can. The greatest ones, but hey, ooh, that, uh, wood transport. That's going to take a minute, but. Either way, we can actually get some of the stuff done, so that'll be nice. A mowing. Oh, mowing's good. So we're we'll just have to start doing some uh, contracts. And again, we got this animal pen. We can get rid of that probably because it's not really going to do much. I think we can get some money for it. Uh, let's take a look here and see. Get some money for some of these things here. That buildings maybe we can sell off. I don't know. Seventy-five hundred dollars, something though. Fourteen thousand. I get rid of all that stuff though. Ugh. Well, I want to keep the farmstead the way it is. So let's get these contracts worked out. We'll start doing some things. Get this, hopefully, get this balance worked into. So, um, first things first. Let's go back to the contracts here again. And see what we get. get the contracts. Spring mowing. Harvesting. Oh, we can do a harvest here. 
What are they harvesting on that one? Uh, 31. Why is it not coming? Oh, sorry. I just, just saw the crop there. Hello, it's canola. So we could do that one, that's for sure. Field 31. Start off with that. Borrow the items to borrow them. And uh, let's see. Oh, they're harvesting some fertilizing, some hoeing. <laughs> hoeing and mowing. Yay! I'm checking the wood transport. We might do something with that too. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the shop and grab the equipment there and we'll start heading over to that. Not tracked there, so let's go get the equipment. It'll be at the shop. Say goodbye to Grandpa. Goodbye to Grandpa. This will be down up and around the corner. Just coming. Just up around the bin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to get this harvested. We're going to go ahead and take care of business there. Ooh, ran this stop sign, didn't I? And, uh, yeah, we'll get this taken care of, so... Hopefully start getting some of this money back. We can get back on track. It's farm up to run up to par. Oh yeah, there's the equipment. Sweet. Park the bad boy right over the hill. And out of the way. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and park this bad boy. We're going to go ahead and get all this stuff taken care of and get into this contract mode. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Ultra. Go for it. There's that. There. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to move this out of the way. So I'm going to head over to the farmland that we need to harvest um i guess i can actually have somebody do this but i want to start cutting down some of this bill so we can get that so that's not going to be as beastly so i'm going to go ahead and get this all moved over we're going to get to the contract and we're start harvesting this so i'm going to go ahead and do all that get this all prepared we'll see you all over there in the field so we'll see you all in just a little bit All right, so we're cruising along here, trying to find the way down to get this harvest done. So we got... As you can see, we're back over here trying to get this all harvest done. So we get the fog down the water. Really beautiful views. Taking, taking this harvest uh, down to where it needs to go, but of course it's kind of a backway type scenario. Mario. <laughs> so we're trying to cruise along here. So uh, once we get to the main roads, we're trying to stay off the main roads because we don't want to ruin the traffic because they all get mad at us you know type thing so we're just coming up here we're gonna come down dip down to here and this is where it's gotta go a little bit of a ways away so that's stinky but it's okay but other than that yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this dumped out uh we're 80 percent, so we'll get a little extra cash out of this and we'll be uh sitting a little pretty for ourselves as well I mean, not pretty. We're going to have to pay off that loan because that thing... I don't know where the loan came from or why we even have it, but... Uh, turn left. There's another CNC cafe, huh? That's cool. It's not the one we were at because we were at the one over here. So we're going to go... Right and left. Left and right. 
That's the mint. Another central cabinet. Man, they're all over the place. Casket or gasket. Gas. Gas. Kit. Ha 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 ha. Mean giant. <laughs> yeah, don't let me help us. Yep, my jazz. I'm gonna hit the second one. Yeah, that'll go across the bridge. Sweet. All right, cool. We're on stop signs. Yippee ki yay yay yay. Throw a little flashes at the top there. Those should get us directly yep, we're gonna across the bridge and swing to the left and boom, we're halfway there. Straight on till morning. <laughs> So, we should get a little bit of money for that. We should get some extra, and that way we get a payment. Not just f for this, but also for whatever extra grain. There should be some extra grains in here. Uh, well, it is technically grain, even though it's Ola. It's more of a seed. But that is okay. Oh. Interesting, so I couldn't do it that way, so we're gonna have to cut back down this way. Um, ziggity zaggity zoo. Yow, yow. Wow, this is a pretty tight fit for a tractor and a trailer. Pretty neat little barge there, so let's take a look and see what we can get out of this. Pull up. Boom. Right, yep, there we go. Harvest contract. Boom, done. And we got $1,200 extra, so that's cool. That's nice. A little extra out of that. Now we can complete this track, uh, contract here. Let's take a look while we're thinking about that. I'm going to turn this off. So we have the time to think. Uh, active is done. Let's see, so we have fertilizing. Harvesting, so one more harvesting kind of, but small. Hoeing, <laughs> rock removal. Stone picking, weeding, and the wood transfer. I might try to do that wood transfer. That's a nice little chunk of change. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out since we're pretty much done with it. Or not pretty much, but. Oh, we got the extra money for that, so we got an extra 4000 so we're a little over now. Then I'm going to start paying down that bill. <laughs> it's going to be rough. That's $750,000. Woo, Nelly. Hope we might be able to get a loan to work on some stuff on the farm here, get some vehicles and stuff, but apparently not. Let's see, we got stuff that's... I don't see our stuff in there yet, but yeah, who knows what might up in there. Well, we'll go ahead and do that then. Pardon me, a long day already. Wow, first day on the job, and farm is tiring. Woof, so I'm gonna go ahead and over sit down here by the cocktails and check it out. So, other than that, yeah, we're gonna move along here and uh, get back to the farm, check with Grandpa some more, pay down this bill, and we're gonna hopefully get this thing knocked out soon. Start getting some uh, rearranging the farm, upgrading it, and updating it to where we can actually do uh. You know, build it up and get those fields so we can get some crops and stuff going. So we'll go ahead and move on there, but uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, say hello. Let me know how you doing. Let's go around the world. Hope you have a great day, morning, night, evening, whatever you've got going on while you watch this. Appreciate everybody very much. Thank you. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Good dip.